explain to us what exactly is mercy? Yes, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah the Almighty, the Lord of the worlds, and may Allah's peace, mercy, and the blessings be upon His final and last messenger, Muhammad, and may Allah's peace, mercy, and the blessings be upon both of you, dear brothers here, and all our dear brothers and sisters who are watching us across the globe. Uh, again, it's a great pleasure uh, to be with you here, and especially in the presence of my dear brother, uh, Clément Denis uh, from France. The topic that we have today is a very important one. It's really indeed a very important one, and it comes as, as, as continuation to the topic that we discussed in uh, previous weeks, and which has to do mainly with the status of noble manners in Islam. Okay. And let me start by, as you said, laying the foundations for this and trying to put things into perspective. Because when it comes to noble character and good manners, one of the, dis the very distinctive features about them in Islam is that noble manners are not only confined to human beings. Rather, okay. they are also extended to all the creation of Allah the Almighty in the universe. And especially when it comes to mercy, Allah the Almighty clearly states in the Noble Quran, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Which means, and my mercy has encompassed and surrounded everything. Okay. So you can see here, and of course as Muslim, the very first verse that we read in the Noble Quran is, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the most merciful and the mercy giving. So this, once you open the Noble Quran, the, the guidance that Allah the Almighty has revealed to all human beings, the very first verse that we memorize by heart and the very divine words that started to be revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was, was all about, the words were all about mercy and mercy giving. So this can give us a glimpse okay. of the true significance of the mercy in Islam. And, and as you mentioned at the very beginning, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was sent for no other reason, primarily, but to perfect noble manners. Okay. And in the, in the Noble Quran, we read Allah the Almighty saying, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ That indeed, we have not sent to you, O Muhammad, except at the mercy to the entire world not only to Arabs or not only to a certain ethnicity or a certain background and not even only to human beings but to the whole world be it the world of humans be it the world of animals the world of jinn all of the creation of Allah the Almighty the Prophet peace be upon him was sent and chosen by Allah the Almighty as a mercy for all of them and this is what we can see vividly in the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, how that in everything that he said and did and in his approvals, you can see all of them surrounded by mercy. And, th and this also was the case with all the prophets and the messengers who came before Prophet Muhammad, peace be, uh, peace be upon all of them. And we, and we can talk about this in the in We've got uh, today's uh, program full of stories. Inshallah. And uh, we're going to look at stories of the Prophet, stories Inshallah. of the companions, and yes. all these examples. And the, pre and the, uh, and the early uh, pious generations of Muslims. Of course. Because uh, they, were, they also really set amazing examples for us in the way how they, show mer they, sh they did show mercy to all the people around them, whether Muslims or not, and also to all the creation of Allah the Almighty around them. Okay. Huda TV's social media sites are the best way to contact us from anywhere around the world. Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and Instagram. It's fast and easy. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV, a light in every home.